There's weakness in this country. We need to strengthen up. Get out from Mate Rev. Welcome. Today is Monday, 26th of October. And the start of a new day. It's <laughs> start of a new week. And start of a new working week too as well. So yeah. So hey, have, hope you had a great weekend. What are you looking at? Oh yes. <laughs> I had a haircut. Yes. It's not too bad. It's it was a bit of a trim. It was. No. So um yes, I had a haircut. <laughs> About time I did too. And uh, so we're going to look brand new, don't we? Yes. And uh, of course, now the weekend. I hope you had a great weekend, and uh, mine was good. Um, of course, it's been a long weekend for us because um, of the AFL Grand Final football, um, which was run on Saturday night. And of course, uh, Richmond Tigers got on to Richmond. Yes. They defeated Geelong Cats. Yeah. Well, <laughs> someone's going to win, someone's going to lose. Yeah, it's either one or the other, isn't it? <laughs> okay. And of course, Richmond Tigers. I've always been a. I've always, I've always followed Richmond Tigers because when I was a kid, when I used to go to school uh, many years ago, when I was a kid, we used to play football in primary school, and um, I remember. We had to play football, and I had a Richmond jumper. Yeah, yes, the Richmond Tigers jumper. And it was during that time when they won two premierships back in the 70s. So, um, yeah, and I'm, I've always been back for that team ever since. <laughs> yeah, so uh, they won. Good. Yes. So, what have we got this week? I don't know, I've got a busy day today, really. I've just picked up to some clients this morning, so I've got a, I've got two more to do today. So I've got a bit of a busy day today, and um, I could have been up with a busy week too. So um, in between time, I, and when I do my pickups of um, community driving, I in between time I come home and I do my own thing, like my music, work on my recordings, I uh, could be working down the shed, sorting out stuff. Um, so in between time, that's what I do. I only do that those in my spare time. So um, things are really busy. I, I'm, I'm never bored, and I, I never sort of um, sit down, look at four walls all day. I don't think I can do that. <laughs> no, no. So and. Uh, and uh, of course the restrictions, the coronavirus uh, restrictions are really lifted because I live in the regional areas, because in the regional Victoria, uh, the restrictions are lifted. Not all, but some restrictions are uh, still there, but most of it we can get out and about and be free, yeah. Except for people in Melbourne, I'm very, very sorry for you guys in Melbourne for your lockdown. Um, uh, which has been pondered on by our Premier. Hmm, I know. <laughs> um, but I believe, um, I, well, hold on you people in Melbourne. Um, stick with it. You'll come out of it. Hopefully. So, and I uh, feel sorry for you guys. The restrictions. So, um, I know we're the only state in Australia Victoria on restrictions, all the others are opened up, like Queensland, New South Wales, Western Australia, uh, uh, Tasmania. I'm not too sure about the Western Australia border, I think they're still uh, locked down, like closed the border of Western Australia, I think. I'm not too sure, you'll have to correct me on that. So um, anyway, let's get on with it, um, don't worry about it, let's get on with the good times. Yeah, and it's open up with live music. So the live music, uh, I heard, heard rumours that um, live music is going to be banned in Victoria. Um, I don't believe that, really. Um, I hope it doesn't. Um, if that's the case, well, you know, we're all going to give up, aren't we? Yeah. 
I mean, if, the, if, if there's no performing, if the music restricts in Victoria, well, that's it, you know, I lose it. But anyway, music never leaves me. <laughs> I'm sure it won't. But anyway, I've been busy uh, recording, of course, and of course, on this vlog, you'll see uh, me, uh, me and my brother at Mount Beauty. Yeah, we went to Tawanga Gap and went to Mount Beauty. And of course, I've lost footage. When I was at Tawanga Gap, <laughs> um, I was supposed to be doing the footage for this vlog, and um, but yeah, I lost it. <laughs> it. I don't know what happened. It, I must have pressed the wrong button or something. I must have pressed the off button while it was on. <laughs> I thought it was on, but it was not. But anyway, there is footage of Mount Beauty with my brother Peter there. So we had a good day. It was a good day. So we go every weekend for a trip. Um, I don't plan it. I don't plan where we go. Sometimes I just make this, the last minute decision, okay, let's go here, let's go there. Okay, depending on the weather. And uh, so we can't go in the New South Wales border at the moment. Um, I'm not too sure whether it's opened or not. Um, but we're just going to keep our distance away from New South Wales for a while anyway. Just keep it local around you know, our home area. So. Uh, there's some interesting places to be to go to. Mate Rev, welcome. Today is Saturday, 23rd of October, and it's absolutely pouring rain out there. Yeah, let's take a look, eh? Hey? on the lily. It's absolutely pouring. A little bit of thunder as well. Now, I've been really busy, been absolutely uh, nailing down with recording. Yes, my two songs are High Country and The Country Folk and Me. So I'm really working solidly on that, on these two songs. So there's the only two songs left, then my flash drive album will be uh, released, will be finished. And uh, so, uh, the high com well, the high country still got a little bit more to do. I've done some banjo work on it and uh, a bit of piano work as well. So, um, and that's, that's just got to do a little bit of guitar work in it and then, um, then do the final vocals. Same with uh, the country folk and me. That's just about finished. I've got to do the final vocal on that. So, uh, it's coming up out pretty good actually. So, uh, this album will be a nice album. Um, as fresh as the morning was the name of the album. So um, we'll have some mostly original songs, maybe a few little covers on there. So it's going to be a great album. So it's one to really, um, I'm hoping that you will buy off me uh, on flash drive. It's not on CDs, because I don't do CDs at the moment. And um, it's very time consuming, 
very costly and uh, so the flash drives are the easiest thing to do and um, you just plug it in and the, a, a, a player or something and it'll play and uh, so been really working solidly on these songs so yeah maybe enjoying all the day I'm just wet cold well it's not cold but it's been humid but it will be cold soon it's raining and it's looking pouring out. Mate hey, Trev, welcome. Today is Saturday, 24th of October. October, not October. October. Yeah. Mm. What am I drinking? Apple juice. Yeah. Clear as crystal. Clear as crystal. <laughs> what am I doing? Well, actually. After I've, uh, I've actually completed and finished my two new recordings, um, the, country, uh, the Country Folk and Me, and The High Country, both completed, and of course The High Country uh, is on my music channel, yep, that's up now, The High Country, check it out, <laughs> it's a great song, yes, so, um, now that completes my new album, Flash Drive album. It's not a CD album. It'll be on a flash drive. This is what I this is what I do. What's a flash drive? Some people ask me, what's a flash drive? What's a USB flash drive? <laughs> it comes into a little bag, a lockup bag. It looks like a little sandwich bag sort of thing. And um, it's got a little uh, flash drive, which is a, a little device, which is only that small. Very small. This is a black one actually. <laughs> I'll put it there so you can see it. And they come in different colours, different sizes, different types. And um, there's now there's 20 songs on that. 20 songs on that always um, what's it called? Um, as fresh as the morning. That's the title track of this album. And it has 20 songs. Original songs, and maybe a few, there's a few covers on there as well. Uh, Shalala's on there, Shalala I Need You, I think it's called, and um, from Grace from Graceland to Promised Land. And um, so, this particular one is actually songs for all seasons, really. I released this sometime back. This has got 20 track, 20 songs on there, and it'll have um, a listing of all the songs that are on the flash drive and also there's a nice little photo in there as well of me and um, so I've got a, quite a few releases uh, collections and um, things like that so um, so what am I doing now I'm actually now I've completed my new album and uh, I've just got to do the uh, the songs and the listings so now I'm researching on Another two albums. One's The Rainbow, of course, which I'm working on. And also, um, Sentimental Songs. Just a bit of comedy. Some sentimental songs. And also, I'm researching, I want to do a tribute uh, album to um, a cowboy singer and songwriter. Going back, way back in the early, well, the early 1900s. And his name was Billy Hill. Billy Hill. He wrote songs, a lot of cowboy songs, like The Last Roundup, I think it was. Um, some of the old western songs. And they were great old songs, really. And I, when I first started, see, started learning to play the guitar, I used to learn a lot of some of those songs, western old Billy Hill songs. <laughs> and um, there's one a song called Old Folks at Home. I don't know if he wrote it or not, your folks at home. But that was my very first song I've ever learnt on the guitar. <laughs> so, um, that's another project which I'm working on. I'm researching and um, the songs of Billy Hill. So, that'll be interesting. Yeah. So, it's one of those forgotten songwriters, cowboy songwriters. I mean, he goes way back the days of Gene Autry, uh, Tex Ritter. Uh, many Western singers like that, Roy Rogers, and uh, but Billy Hill was was 
part of the backbone of Western songs. So um, that's something I'm researching on. I'm looking at the recording. So that'll be interesting. Anyway, I hope you're having a great day. So as I'm, I'm just re doing some song, a bit of songwriting actually, writing new songs. Um, as I said, I'm working, working on the sentimental songs. Um, I'm just listing down songs that I wanted to write and record. Um, you know, he's a 90. There's a one called he's a he's a 90 year old rocker. A 90 year old rocker. How many how many rockers out there in the year in the age of 90? Yeah, there'd be plenty out there. And um, and this one song I started writing is called "We Were Doing It," and they were doing it too. Yes. And another one's called "Smack My Butt and I'll Smack Yours." <laughs> yeah, Frank's old jeans is another one I started writing a long time ago, and I'm just starting to write a new song um, called "Lockdown." Lockdown. Yeah, it's all about the lockdown we have in this coronavirus uh, pandemic. <laughs> yeah, so um, another one called Table or Table in the Corner. Well, that's actually um, Conway Twitty's song. And um, I'm Still Here, the new one I'm starting to write. And I'm just writing one called uh, Where the Children Play. Yeah, so that's quite interesting. Where the children play. Life is so happy. Where the children play. Joy and the laughter. Each day is a lovely day. Children in the playground. On the slides and swings. Mum and dads are watching. Where the children play. Yeah, it's a lovely little song. Um, great. So that's what I'm up to. Um, I've got lots of songs to research on. The Rainbow album, um, Teddy and I, I've actually recorded that, Teddy and I, it's all about Teddy, <laughs> so I've, I've actually recorded that, but then I put that aside for this Rainbow album, and um, there's many other songs, the colours on your t-shirt will go on there as well, um, and lots of songs, You've Got Sparkles, Visions of Daddy, Moon Bound will go on that, um, out of this world, let the children sing. Yeah, that'd be on that. So let's uh, get on to it. So once you once I finish songs, projects, that's it. I'll go on to the next. I never stop. Music never leaves me. Never does. Never will. <laughs> I hope you have a great day. glasses. <laughs> Looks like I'm in jail <laughs> with these on. And the rabbit ears. <laughs> I, found that when, I found these in the box. One of my treasure box things I collect. <laughs> things I collected and forgot. Oh dear. Okay. Here we are in Mount Beauty Town, <laughs> and uh, it's a beautiful day. It really is. And we're just having a, something to eat and drink. And uh, yeah, what have I got? I've got a cappuccino and a and an apple turnover. Beautiful, yeah. And a peep there, yeah. You're enjoying? Hello, Peter. My brother. <laughs> Does he look like me? <laughs> oh dear. So, uh, yeah, a bit breezy, windy, but it's nice. Cloud. It's just a beautiful day, it really is. I've been up to Mount Tawonga, Tawonga Gap, doing um, some back shots for my uh, music video. So, um, Mount Bogong, you can see that. Um, yeah. So, um, anyway, we're just sort of having our lunch. We'll Something to eat, then we're gonna head back. Right. Oh, we've got a green bun. Mm. Oh. <laughs> mm. 
now I'm home. <laughs> it's home, and uh, I've had a good day today. I've been up to um, Tawonga Gap, did some filming up there with my, and I took my brother along, Peter as well. So, um, so that if I can get some bit of light in my face, <laughs> it's um, so Tawonga Gap. I did some filming of the Mount Bogong, Mount Bogong, and you'll find that on my mu music channel. The song called "The High Country," so check that out. And it's a beautiful, some beautiful clips of the high country. Uh, Mount Bogong is part of the high country, really. That stretches right through Mount Kosciuszko, the highest mountain in Australia. So, because uh, what happens, you know, the Brumbies and the horse, they they bring the Brumbies down uh, when it gets towards winter time, because it snows up top. Um, so when the snow melts, around springtime, about this time now, they start to bring the horses back up during the summer period. So it's a good thing to take the horses up there because, you know, the horses um, feed on the grass and, uh, and uh, that keeps the grass down and the bush. Otherwise, bush fires. <laughs> so we need to keep the cattle on the high country and it's also a part of our heritage in Australia so um, anyway we've well, had a good day and went to Mount Beauty and had a uh, had a had an afternoon tea there then we headed home so we had an ice cream in Millawa yes we did <laughs> so uh, then I took my brother back so anyway I hope you all, you having a good day and uh, hope you had a great weekend it's been a long weekend too actually and of course, uh, the AFL Grand Final has been done. That's our football team. And of course, uh, Richmond Tigers against Geelong Cats. And of course, the Richmond Tigers won. Yeah, good on you, the Tigers. Uh, yes, good on you, Richmond Tigers. Yeah. So anyway, tomorrow is Monday. And uh, anyway, I hope, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh yeah, the sky doesn't look too good to me. Looks like we're gonna get some more rain. Oh yeah, there is something missing. I've got the toaster oven, but there's something missing. Missing on the left hand side. And yes, of course, it's the air fryer. The air fryer is gone. Now, what happened to the air fryer? Uh, well, what happened? I had a bit of an accident. An accident, yeah. And uh, I had a tray. Um, I think it was a, some tray. And uh, when I was doing the dishes, it was full of water, and I sort of when I tipped it up accidentally, all the water went into the air fryer, <laughs> went into all the electrical components, the motor, and there's no way in the world I'm going to ever plug that in and start it, otherwise. I'll be creating fireworks. <laughs> so, goodbye the air fryer. Once the water gets into the electrical parts, that's it. It's totally stuffed. Because you can't, because if you're going to plug it in, you might get electrocuted or something like that. So, um, that's a lesson learned. <laughs> but I wasn't game enough to turn it on, so and uh, so I had to throw it out, unfortunately. I have to get another one. I will eventually get another air fryer, um, eventually. Um, but that air fryer did well for me, really. It was only a cheap, a cheap air fryer, only about 40 bucks worth um, in the reject shop. So um, that did all right for me. Um, but it's not, it was only a one, the air fryer was all right for one person. You know, want to cook a meal, but 
if you want to get a good one for a, a higher price um, to make a good meal out of it, well, so be it. So eventually I might get another one, but I'll think about it. Um, so that's one of those things, you know, the air fryer is gone. And uh, yeah, I'm have to turf it out, unfortunately. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Ah, not to worry. Things don't last forever. Ah, uh, who wants this soccer ball chair? Yeah. Soccer balls, soccer ball chair. Yes, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. This is your chair, Talia. <laughs> if you want, come and get it. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm christening it for you. <laughs> it's a little, little, it's getting a little bit flat. I don't know why. It's been up in my dad's room for quite a while and uh, might need pumping up a bit. But that's all right. Oh, yeah. Good night. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to finish this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had a great weekend and uh, I hope you have a great week. I've got a busy week this week with my community driving. So, um, yeah, it's going to get busier and busier, I think, right up till Christmas, anyway, at least. So, um... Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. Um... <laughs> I can't get out. I can't get out. Oh, you can actually put these in a swimming pool. If you got a swimming pool, it'd be ideal, yes, for your pool um, or whatever. You know, you can sit in it and float. But don't put down, don't float it down a river though, because you might, you might, you might lose yourself. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the rest of your week. I shall see you next Monday, and I'll still be vlogging every, or I'll be, I'll be uploading every week, Mondays, and also on the weekend. Uh, a song on my music channel, so don't forget to go to Trev's music channel um, because there's some awesome songs on there, some really good songs, some good stuff, and there's going to be a lot more coming, yeah. And of course, once it gets caught towards Christmas time, um, hoping to um, do a couple of Christmas songs, my own Christmas songs too. So that's something special coming up when it gets near the Christmas time in December, yeah. So. Anyway, great harmony, peace, bye. You never know where I get up to next. <laughs> bye. It's quite a sleep here for the night. Guitar is on hand Pass around the plate of food Hospitality is grand Pass around the plate of food Hospitality is grand Yeah